Hi guys, Dil here from Museframe. This is tutorial video two. You've just uh, watched the first tutorial, you've unboxed your Museframe, you've set it up on a wall or easel, you've plugged it in, and now I'm here to show you exactly all the cool functionality that you can use um, using the Museframe. There's three ways to showcase art on the Museframe. We've got the Museframe software, which we've built um, completely free. You can showcase anything from your mobile library, video image, um, and you can showcase anything from a range of different digital wallets and blockchains, we've got, we support Tezos, Ethereum, Polygon, and Solana, and Bitcoin ordinals will be coming very, very soon. Um, we've got a Sedition software, so if you just want to stream some art, you can easily access a library of over 6,000 evolving digital art um, through a subscription there. But since you've bought a Museframe, contact our team and we'll give you a free, free month on that. We've also got a looping media player. If you just want to plug in a USB and loop something without connecting to the internet, you can also do that. The frames all have 16 gig of memory as well, so you can save things to the frame, remove the USB, and run that seamlessly without any controls coming up. So that's what we do for a lot of events with a, no internet connection. With the Museframe software though, once you do load it in using Wi-Fi, it will continue to play even if the Wi-Fi disconnects as it saves in the cache of the app. All right, so you've just unboxed. Go to Wi-Fi first. You want to connect your frame to Wi-Fi, and you want to download the Museframe app on your mobile from the App Store, completely free. Once you've connected it to Wi-Fi, you're going to head to the Museframe software and you want to connect your Muse app to your Museframe. With the Muse app, you can connect app up to 100 frames at once and you can actually control them all from any distance, anywhere. I currently control all our frames in all our stores throughout Europe and America instantly by my mobile app. So you want to, um, on the Museframe app, you want to go to your gallery first. You want to start filling out your gallery. You can do this prior to getting your Museframe delivered. Um, you can add artwork from your library, from your mobile phone, video, image, or you can connect to your digital wallet and upload your library there. So once you've got some stuff in your library, if you want to add a new frame on your mobile, you want to click that, you want to name it, scan QR code, and then once you see the screen, it means you have connected your, um, your account to your Muse frame. From here, you want to start adding artwork from the gallery to this frame. So I'm just going to find a piece of artwork. That's a frame. And that should instantly pop up. Once the artwork's there, you look at the settings of your news frame here. If you select that artwork, it's going to show you a bunch, of different, a bunch of different functionality. So if I want to, I can show you information. So this artwork is just, um, this has been uploaded just from the mobile app. So you can edit the title, you can edit the artist, you can edit, even edit where that QR code goes if you want to um, send it to any marketplace or your own marketplace or your own website. All that is completely um, customizable through our app. Um, first thing you actually want to do is go to control tab and you want to check if the frame is up to date. Um, if it isn't, like this one isn't, you want to click update and that's going to update your frame. So every few weeks we do a new update with new features and this is what, how you have to update your Muse frame app. You can do it all by a mobile app, click update and that will update that instantly. Um, in the settings you can also um, change the duration of your artwork. Uh, if you go to the settings tab, you can change from 1 minute to 30 minutes. We're actually going to reduce that, um, so it'll be 15 seconds or 30 minutes. From the control, you can also um, change and, and, and alter the artwork. You can select next. You can, you can do everything you want through the Museframe software. Um, that is, that's how you use the, the software. Um, from there, we're, we're, we'll have some playlist functionality coming out in the next few weeks, and we'll continue to build that out with the Museframe software. Um, with Sedition, all you need to do um, when you connect, it'll come up with a QR code scan, you QR code scan that, and then you will link it to your Sedition app on your mobile phone, and that will stream um, up to, yeah, 6,000 pieces of artwork instantly. I'll quickly show you how to do that. Use your new, your normal phone library to scan that QR code. And you log into your account on the, on the you, you punch in this code, C, connect, 
and that will come up with your account or your playlist that you've already constructed on Sedition and you can instantly stream Sedition via the MuseFrame. That's it from me, just wanted to give you a quick update on how to use the software and how to use Sedition and how to bring your digital art to life. Thanks guys.